Well, there's a reason California is still facing a water crisis even after record-breaking rainfall rates this month, and the Golden State reportedly has a massive mail-in ballot problem. Let's bring in former state senator and Golden State Policy Council President Melissa Melendez. She's vowing to help California, not in politics. She's got her hands full doing this. I just want to put these on the screen because this is the missing ballots, Melinda. And I, Melissa, and I'm just, yeah, I'm just, you know, baffled by this thing. You can see them right there. So they mailed out 22 million ballots, right? They got 9 million plus, almost 10 million accepted. 120,000 were rejected for various reasons. The polling place ballots, you had 1,391 show up. And look at the bottom. Unaccounted for ballots. Almost half of the 22 million they sent out in California are unaccounted. Nobody has any idea what happened to them. That's when people think, okay, there's some shenanigans going on in, in the voting ring. Right? right. Well, I mean, where are those nearly 11 million ballots? It's The government should be able to account for those, you would think, but they can't. So I, I think to expect voters to just say, oh, well, we don't know what happened to them and think everything mm -hmm. is okay doesn't make any sense to me. The government should, if any organization, should be able to track this and, and know what's going on with these ballots. It should be the government. We have right. money at our disposal to put these systems in place, and we haven't. And, and nobody, listen, nobody is crying corruption here. Nobody's saying, oh, my gosh, there's something. But but every time something like this happens and you talk about these mailed-in ballots and it happened, it was, you know, COVID or whatever, people are wondering. People lose faith. They lose trust in elections when you have a state that does not know what happened to half of its ballots they mailed out. Right. And the legislature, when they pass laws like this, like they did to mail all these ballots out, they don't look at the long-term implications. They don't, you know, they don't accept the criticism that is presented to them when mm -hmm. they're putting these bills through to say, well, what happens in the future? What about this? Have you accounted for this, you know, possible mishap? They don't listen to that. And now you have issues like this today, which is 11 right. million ballots no one knows what happened to them. So we can't find the water. We can't find the ballots. So the reason that we don't capture any water, we do, we've got reservoirs and stuff, and the snowfall is a big part of it because that leads into some of the things. But we have been trying to capture water for the better part of three or four decades, right? And they refuse to build these. Uh, the San Francisco Chronicle makes excuses saying the following here, the seven dedicated storage projects funded by voter approval, Proposition 1, remain in various stages of planning. Many are big ventures, including the proposed site reservoir in the Sacramento Valley. That would be California's eighth largest reservoir Reservoir. Such efforts require years of design, permitting, and fundraising, and are not easy to build. Still, some say progress has been too slow given the dire need for water. Some say progress is too slow. We are, oh, it's just so hard to do this. We have, they have passed, there's money. We are paying money for them to capture water, and they're not doing it. Yeah, listen, it's very hard to get voters in California to agree to give up more money right. to their government, and we did. You know, Californians said, fine, we recognize it, we know we need more storage, we're constantly in a drought, so yes, here's our money, now please go build, build these reservoirs. And we haven't done anything yet. That, right. that one reservoir alone could hold enough water to supply all of L.A. County, right. 10 million people. Right, and it's environmentalists because right. there's so much pressure from environmentalists. They can't get these things built. But, boy, the bullet train to nowhere. You can spend tens of billions of dollars right. on the bullet train to nowhere. You're like, oh, yeah, let's build it. Or if you want to build a sports arena, you're a wealthy team owner or a wealthy developer and you want to build a sports arena, boy, they get those flying through very easily. But for some reason, yeah. we can't build a reservoir. Although I love SoFi. I think SoFi <laughs> is just beautiful, i got to say. It, it is. Melissa? Water storage is better. <laughs> but yeah, it is. I totally agree. Maybe they can fill up SoFi. It's big <laughs> enough. Melissa, thank you so much you for bet. coming on.